What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So we're taking a look at Doom Eternal here on the Steam Deck because they did update the preview and I believe beta channel today, but definitely the preview channel for ray tracing here for Doom Eternal, which is really cool to see. Definitely a feature we've been waiting to try on the Steam Deck to see how it would work out. So jumping into settings to start with, of course, we'll be at the 800p. I'm not gonna lower any resolution in this video. V-Sync's on, motion blur's off, depth of field is off, ray tracing's on for right now and we're at the medium preset other than that and we'll play around with these settings just a little bit as we get into it here for Doomy Turtle but performance is actually decent when it comes to running ray tracing because we do know how hard that can be to run and what it does to the hardware but in Doom Eternal, ray tracing is arguably not that hard to run as it mostly focuses on reflections and not necessarily the full suite of RT that some other games might take advantage of, but it does add to the graphic fidelity and the reflections and stuff in the game. And it was pretty cool to check out here, at least in this area, getting in the 30s for the most part for our FPS. Now, if we go in here and switch things over to turn ray tracing off, of course, you already know if you've checked out videos for Doom Eternal, with these medium settings, you can basically get yourself a good 60 FPS experience in this game. And for a fast paced game like Doom Eternal, you're gonna want those frames if you can get them. And it feels great on Steam Deck to play at 60. It's really awesome that they have the RT option in here and I'm looking forward to checking out more in the future, but it's definitely something we'll talk about more towards the end of the video. Now, if I go in here and change things down to low, leaving ray tracing turned on. We do get similar performance to what we get on medium, and I did test this in other parts of the game as well. And you gain a few FPS, but not much. Like cranking this thing down to low doesn't necessarily get you uh, much higher than you would get on the medium preset that we've been testing. So I'll pretty much just stick with medium, but you can gain a few FPS if you want to by going all the way down to low. Now you get an area like this with a lot more going on with ray tracing on and medium though, you're gonna be in those 20s quite often, even the lower 20s. And I could imagine that later on in the game that could get worse in other areas as well. I think 23 FPS or so is one of the lowest that I saw in this area. Going to low gains you a few FPS, but you still hit the 20s. So I didn't really bother with it, but yeah, there are gonna be areas that you certainly will take those hits and be at much lower FPS for this game, but it's really cool that the features there. Now, looking at some of the ray tracing, you can see here, uh, while we're looking at the windows, the elevator moving out there or whatever, and you can see the steam showing up in the windows. You'll see the elevator moving. You can see other reflections outside of the windows and everything. Now we switch over to RT off and all of that detail in and around and outside the windows just goes away. You can't see the steam anymore or the elevator or anything else. Now we'll kick RT back on and there we have all of that back so it is really cool i am a big fan of ray tracing but it is always a big hit now here in this scene it actually is a major change in the entire scene from the water to the shadows the doorways out to the right if you look as we change here it's a dramatic difference from just the reflections and the shadowing and lighting here in this scene so it's it's certainly a big difference here when we switch back and forth and you're looking at these but the thing is with a game like this the question is, is it, is it really necessarily worth it? And it is really awesome to see scenes like that and how good this game looks with ray tracing. And I have played through this game on my local PC with ray tracing, but it's very easy to run on something like a 3060 and still get high FPS. Here on the Steam Deck, while it's really awesome to check this out, the 60 FPS that you can get yourself in this game is just much more worth it. It's a very fast paced FPS game and I need that 60 FPS, but I love checking out ray tracing on here and I look forward to what future games we'll be able to check out with ray tracing. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And as always, thanks a lot for coming and checking out the video. I'll see you guys in the next one.